Hello everybody, welcome to VGC, my name is Aurelius and we're hopping back into uh, Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia, um, there's a special event going on down here at the Citadel called the Hero of the Day event, um, just from what I've read it's basically a pvp thing um you'll probably see multiple notifications going up in the upper right you know saying for dual um for the information okay. if we actually go into the battle here we go um yeah these are the rules for it you know um so basically you're putting up biofuel for beds, winner takes all minus ten percent. You know, um, and it's two minute matches. First one of five kills wins. You know, um, there will be additional tasks and everything. And whether you win or lose, you'll still get Citadel coins, which I think is awesome. That you'll still get Citadel coins. That's what you need to trade for some of the good stuff in there. Um, you know, uh, I have not been in here yet. I know this says 4 out of 5 on the 200 because one of these notifications came up and, and um, I clicked on it, but it would not load. So. So I think you but it's still counted as a battle, which I didn't receive any Citadel coins or anything for it too. But let's go ahead and put up 500 biofuel. Um, cannot bring rocket launchers and stasis grenades into the uh, battle. Kind of sucks. But yeah, let. Go ahead and do this. Um, you guys don't realize how important biofuel is. It's, it's basically, you'll need it for everything. I mean, upgrade, uh, research, you know, uh, making deals with certain characters, I'm sure, as, like, you know, it's a big caveat to gaining, um, partners in the first one. It was usually biofuel and, and something else that you needed to actually recruit them. And it's mass amounts of biofuel. Like, you can never have too much biofuel. Never. Ooh, I totally missed that. Ooh, there's a train that goes through. Haha. Uh -huh. That's good. Straight up open. Okay. Oh! Didn't get a kill though. Oh, wow. That's wild. Kinda cool though. There, I got one kill. Oh, this dude sucks with the sniper! I'm loving it. Let me cancel that. Wait for him to stop moving. Oop, that's a grenade. Get out of the way of that. Wow, these battles are pretty intense. Oh, I'm about to get a second kill. I'm not gonna hit him with like that wow. Ooh, he got me with the headshot. Let me heal up. <laughs> Come on, go down, go down, go down. Yeah, I think I'm winning this match. Pretty awesome. Let me move in the sniper. Alright, um and my stuff over there is broke. So let me 
probably not bad. So yeah, I just earned 900 biofuel, which is awesome. Put up 500, which means I'm going and do that again. How many Citadel points did I actually earn? Uh, 75. Ooh, that's not too shabby. You know, the 75, let's go ahead and get the Magnetite, which is really hard to get, and still, which you can never have enough still either, <laughs> for whatever reason. But yeah, that was pretty interesting. You guys should be doing those. Um... Like I said, if you don't feel comfortable putting up 500 biofuel, you know, then don't. You know, but just go ahead and do it and, and get those coins. You know what I'm saying? That would be the main purpose for doing that. Because, like I said, come back into the Citadel. Look at all the stuff up for trade. I mean, it's making us this sniper rifle, right? So, which is probably going to be one of the best snipers in the game you know you need 350 pieces to complete that and what type of armor uh citadel armor that's what it's called um it does have an evolution ability you know you need 500 pieces for that um you know then, then there's these chests where you get up to any three of these You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that on top of all these resources is just flat out uh, KKMD blueprint. It's probably the best turret you can get. You know, it was in the first game. I, I don't know how much better they can get than a KKMD. Um, when you guys see one in action for the first time, you'll know what I'm talking about. Trust me, it's just nostalgia from first game dealing with a whole bunch of those but let's go ahead and hop into this next story mission i kind of want to go and just do these story missions until we get our next partner so i really want to see what these uh explore exploration uh things do in zones that we both see you know and what kind of rewards get from that and frequency of all of them and everything. Um, the reason why I don't skip this is just because I'm not really reading it. You know, I'll go back and <laughs> read it when I'm editing the video and everything. But it's just for those that do actually like the story and everything to, um, you know, gives them an opportunity. Yeah, I know I still do that kind of fast, but... But, I mean, it's just opportunity for those that want to stay engaged in the story to be engaged in the story. Is there another sniper up here somewhere? No, there is. Go ahead and power shot that. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting their power shot they cannot use at all. Kill, kill, kill before he throws that. No! Um, I don't know about shooting grenades out of the air in this game. Uh, I know in the first one. That was like a viable thing you can do. I mean, it was hard as crap to do it. You know, but it it was possible. You know, and of course if you shoot somebody with a grenade before they actually throw it, you know, they'll drop it and it'll blow up the enemy there too. So you see enemies with grenades, shoot them. Uh, kill them quick, especially if their arm is cocked back and are ready to throw something you know um if you guys want to you know go ahead and use that sniper to take aim at a grenade in somebody's hand and see if it blows up then um yeah go ahead and go for it i'm not going to do it just for the purposes of this video i'm not trying to sit there and die and hopefully the viper stays home. I'm not trying to deal with a viper already. Um, 
Yeah, they're... They're like dual machine gun wielding, um... Holograms. Let's put them like that. That was great. It works. I really hate War Nope, oh, power shot it. You just break that turret. That way any future ones won't have a turret. I got to see some of that biofield. I uh want to make some more health kits. I'm like extremely low on health right now. Ow. No, then, nothing with the, the health, um, don't, I forgot about that aspect, I didn't think they put it in the game, or, I don't know, it just brain didn't click over, but you can go all the way down to zero health, um, once that happens, you will automatically use the health kit, if you have one on hand, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm spec Ops, which I know there's a Spec Ops spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like I said, just stupid little deals like that. Uh, don't take them because you can eventually earn them in game. It might take a while. It might be a pain in the butt, but you can earn them in game without spending too much work for that here. You know what I'm saying? It's part of the reason why it's a good reason to save up the gym because you can just go in to the um, to the box and um and um Exploded. Uh, buy the boxes themselves. You know at a chance for the pieces and they're, if I remember correctly, they're all pretty cheap. That's the Harlequin that wasn't the Sniper. <laughs> that's the Sniper? Nope, that's another Harlequin. You know, if I remember correctly, they're only like 25 or 50 and um, Good way to take out these Boom Burn Spruce. Get it from the Earth. Take out the engine. You know, uh, that will automatically kind of spark it down see it right there and then and it'll act as a grenade too so just over any enemy when you hit one it or any enemies when it hit it goes boom on those enemies as well Ooh, does that give me the level up yes sir all right there's just the scientific data. Oh, I did level up. Six frag kills and eleven headshots. Not a very good level up. <laughs> oh, you ask. Okay, oh, yeah, we're just gonna push forward. I know this thing right here has eight battles on it. Which is kind of ridiculous. Well, no. I won't say ridiculous. I guess in the first game as you're exploring the map, there were several, like, key things you had to do before you can enter the next area. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, eight stages sounds pretty reasonable. Hey, we're back. Uh, sorry about that game crashed on me. Um, I noticed that it has been in some situations just freezing. You'll be on like a loading screen forever. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and close it out and refresh that if it happens. Um, uh, uh, it doesn't happen every time but it can and it did happen to me just loading the game up uh, and turning stages. Usually, so be aware of that. Yeah. Uh, as you guys can see in the little uh, <laughs> little break, um, yeah, I went and made a 
everybody with med kits just because I was really low on them. Um, Ooh, I didn't realize there was a fortress back there. There's no point out. And then we got a Bloomberg here too. Oh my gosh! Chaos! This is what I'm talking about right here. Oh. Crazy things to get. Uh, let's go ahead and line up this headshot. And I missed it again! Again! Oh my gosh, I'm just not doing good with the sniper at all today. Go ahead, power shot that. Oh, she doesn't have enough strength to just break that turret. Kind of sucks. Especially if you're like I was right there, just end up missing your sniper shot. Um, gonna go ahead and open up this box. And see you guys after that. Okay, and we're back. Ooh. Nice. Very, very nice. I love the amount of magnetite I have. Uh, you know, uh, right now I'm trying to research uh, the six pack of U1 medkids. I know it's like the weakest one. Uh, you get the ability to build the med packs up and you'll be able to put six in the queue instead of just one at a time you know which is a good thing especially if you're just trying to get a bunch of them like i just did <laughs> instead of waiting five seconds for you know 20 times it's just like 100 seconds it's almost two minutes of just straight crafting you know um you can just build six at a time and go from there. Ooh, where was the sniper going? I want to aim at that thing. Did I get the engine? No, he blew me up. Yeah, but to get the, um, to get that effect uh, going, we would need to use a whole bunch more med kits. I think last time I looked, it was just, um, it was 9 out of 24 uses. Ooh, man. Yeah, 9 out of 24 uses. Or, yeah, so I need to use 15 more med kits. So if you see me up here wasting them for no reason, that's the reason why. I'm trying to get, get uh, some research. Um... Trying to get some research uh, degraded. Oh man, these guys with the shield. Pains in the butt. They really are. But I guess they're a little bit easier to deal with since you can just run back and forth and hit them on their flank. You know, oh man, the first game, those guys were a pain. And I knew there was a sniper up there the whole time. This dude with the shield. Got to take out the shield, guys. Got to. And I keep using the wrong gun. <laughs> but I'm trying to get the uh, free experience from from the uh, new sh shotgun I've crafted. Uh, you know, I did learn new armor, but it's gonna take uh, 600 steel. Before I'm able to craft that. You know, um, and in case you guys are wondering, like, anything you research, you know, that can be made, uh, it will show up in your workshop, uh, queue to be crafted if you're wondering where it went to. Like, you just don't research it and get it. No, you have to research it and craft it. Like, many other games. I uh, should have threw that grenade a lot sooner. I see the sniper up there along with the machine gunner. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about. With they just continuously uh, progress. Just more and more chaos ensues. 
go ahead and power shot that dude. Um, take out this Harlot plant. And uh, I mean, it, I'm glad you can like move back and forth. Because like I said, with the first one, it wasn't. You didn't have that capability. You pretty much stood in one spot, and then you aimed left, right, or middle. You know what I'm saying? And to protect yourself from any incoming attacks, you know, the commander he had a shield he could throw up. You know, that block almost all damage. You know, but the things like the Harlequin that do melee attacks, uh, enemies that run up on you and explode, uh, grenades, stuff like that, those would still damage you even if you were behind the shield. And the shield could end up getting broken as well as it took too many hits. So yeah, you really have to stay on your toes in the first one. You know, this one is a lot easier. Oh, did it hit the boom there? Oh my god. You did get a sniper kill though, which is another thing I need to do for, for uh, some music purposes. Kind of exploring research cost. Let's get these uh, snipers go. Ooh, the sniper actually is good. That's how I'm going to go ahead and throw that. And you get me with a grenade. Alright, 10 mobs left. Let's go. See you in hell. Yeah, here comes the Harlequin. I see the sniper. I'm gonna try to pick up the Harlequin. Keep moving for the sniper. Power shot that dude. Got him. Loaded. I love the stuff he does when they get a headshot. He's <laughs> like, it exploded! Like, like, you're really shocked that head exploded after you get into the wood of the sniper bullet. Like, Thank you, Anna. Totally taking my sniper kill from me and let me get run up by a boom burst. Um, yeah, boom burst. Blow off that engine. Boom. They're down. Doesn't matter which one. Just don't try taking them all out unless you're just being swarmed by boom birds. Thing. Then you might have a bit of issue on your hands, but other than that, you know, it's pretty good, um, so here we are, at the boss, finally, 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 <clears throat> it's just gonna be vipers, like I said, vipers are kind of like Harlequin, except they will duel at the You know, and they don't really do a whole bunch of melee attacks, but their melee attacks are crazier, and they're way more acrobatic. You'll never catch up. More pains in the butt than a Harlequin. So you can do right there. Taste my venom. They're throwing grenades now. Oh, that's so not cool. So not cool. I wasn't even trying to line that up for a headshot. Oh, and that's acid, that's acid. I just want her dead. Oh, stop moving for two Taste seconds. My oh my gosh, I do not like the new mechanics for, for them. Oh my gosh. That's what Vipers is going to be like in this game? I don't like it. I don't. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that was a pain in the butt. Oh, and she was throwing asset grenades. Like, since when do Vipers start throwing grenades at people? I thought we killed this dude. Oh, <laughs> he's just back for revenge. Oh no! That's a new partner, so we need to go build up uh, 2,000 biofuel. 
Nice. I'm kind of glad we didn't kill that dude. Well, that's the new partner. Um, what does this venture say? What is this? Oh, continuing more onto the story. Um, oh, I completely forgot that whole stage we were fighting on the uh, Moreau's, which was the name of the ship that your that the commander crashed on Utopia on in the first game. Completely forgot about that map, but Ooh, Adam Cruz. Okay. Um uh, yeah, Adam Cruz, he's like a tech billionaire, um mainly off of uh war technology. You know what I'm saying? Um and uh, he was looking for a planet to turn into a paradise. I guess like some kind of retreat, but in the process of, you know, Cruz seeing that he was hiding like missile silos and everything and essentially helped create it with the moon. So, whoa. General is dead. I don't remember. <gasps> I do remember. Never mind. <laughs> Alrighty. Wow. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna hold that one to myself. <laughs> No spoilers. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, um, ooh, Kingpin. Okay. Yeah, there's some very interesting uh, information back there. This was like one of the bosses of the first one. Kingpin. That did look a pain in the butt. Um, and the Ares project, that thing was a pain in the butt to get information about. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. So. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you want to stay up to date with content that's going up on the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. If you guys have any questions about any aspect of this game, go ahead and drop a comment down there in the comment section and let me know. You know, and I will try to get to those comments as soon as I can. And I will see you guys later.